Why is it so difficult for President Trump to say, I condemn white supremacy? Sure, he said sure three times. He has done it in the past multiple times. I don't know how many ways you want him to say it and how many times you want him to say it. Do you have any idea, John, what an exalted cyclops of the KKK is? Because Joe Biden sure does. He spoke at a funeral for one and praised him profusely. Any idea who George Wallace is? Joe Biden sure does. Yep. He thanked so, the person so, who so gave listen. him the award so listen, for George Hogan. Wallace's so name. Listen, any Hogan. idea what a racial so, jungle is? So listen, it's what Hogan. Joe Biden doesn't I, you know, want his kids Hogan, to grow up Hogan, in. Hogan, Joe Biden's record Hogan, on race is Hogan. absolutely disgusting. Okay. Joe Biden, Donald Joe Trump Biden was opening defend, up his properties Biden, to African Americans and Jewish people his while you were still in local television Joe news, John. You know, one the fact thing, is Hogan, this one president thing, Hogan, has a record of respect Hogan, and Hogan, understanding Hogan, these groups Hogan, like nobody Hogan, else. I'm Hogan, sorry, I'm not going to sit here and Hogan, let you call the president Joe Biden of the United can States a racist when Joe Biden he is the only defend one. one. He is Joe the Biden only can defend his own record. He can defend his own record. Kelly, if I could start off, I'd like to ask you for a definitive and declarative statement without ambiguity or deflection. As the person who speaks for the president, does the president denounce white supremacism and groups that espouse it in all their forms? This has been answered yesterday by the president himself, the day before by the president himself on the debate stage. The president was asked this. He said, sure, three times. Yesterday, he was point blank, blank asked, do you uh, denounce white supremacy? And he said, I've always denounced any form of that. I can go back and read for you um, in August 2019 in one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. In August of 2017, racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups. I have an entire list of these quotes that I can go through with you. But he has condemned but, white supremacy more than any president but, but, in modern history. Just to clear it up this morning, can you, naming it, make a declarative statement that you denounce, that the president denounces? I just did. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today, guys, we're going to be talking about President Trump. I am so damn tired talking about this one fucking subject. And, well, it's not the fact that President Trump's done something. It's the fact that what he's not done has never been good enough. So, guys, as we all know, the presidential debate was on Tuesday night. And some of us who in the UK decided to be the crazy bastards and watch that bowling thing because we're just crazy that we love this bowling shit, we actually de watched President Trump go versus Joe Biden. Now, I haven't... I've done a reaction to the live stream itself, but this was the most interesting part, so it was edited there. But my views were very mixed, right? My views were very mixed. But for the one thing that was pointed out really fucking obvious for me was the fact that Chris Wallace was terrible. He wasn't neutral. He was literally defending Joe Biden. It was literally... I didn't quite think of it at the start because I was literally watching it, but looking back again, it was crazy. And one of the things Chris Wallace said, he should be ashamed of saying this. He mentions the events of Charlottesville and Donald Trump condemning white supremacists and neo-Nazis. How many times do we have to tell people that he didn't condemn them? He doesn't support them, ever. He never did, he never wanted to, but I guess this wasn't good enough. But we're going to make sure you understand it in this video. It might take a bit longer than usual, but we're going to watch a few clips today to make you understand on how President Trump has not actually condemned, or has condemned, the actual acts of white supremacists or not because even now the words confusing to me now it's fucking annoying but let's go and watch that full sh scenario by the way when just before trump goes off uh, joe biden for not even condemning black lives and antifa for actually being the fascists for whatever name the anti-fascist antifa name is supposed to give them we might as well take a look at them and take a look at what Trump, Donald Trump said just before where the news media has been lying to everyone about Donald Trump. He said he didn't condemn the white supremacists. It is so tiring. 
This was four, nearly four years ago in Charlottesville when the shooting happened. Groups came together and Donald Trump did say he doesn't support the white supremacists. But let's go and watch the clip of him actually getting asked this question by Chris Walner. They well, criticized. Wait, I have to answer his statement. No, I, you have his repeatedly. Statement. Wait, you have just repeat, one no, you've been talking you back and forth. You made a statement. I'm asking you. I would a, love no, to you know, end it. Sir, I would I, love to I, end it. You know, if you want to switch seats, we, we could very quickly. We can do that. But I'm saying no, the I, National I, Guard, it would be over. There'd be no problem. Okay. But they don't want to accept the National Guard. You have repeatedly criticized the the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing. Not from the right wing. So what are you? What are you? you look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right boys. Would you like me to condemn white proud proud supremacists and right proud proud boys. boys? Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right his wing own, problem. This is, this is a left wing. This is a left wing problem. White supremacist. Antifa is an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not kidding. malicious. That's what oh, his it's an idea. FBI. His okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, we're then gonna, you know what? No, no, no we're, done, we're done, sir. Everybody, we're moving on to the next. We're moving on to the next. your administration. That's not an idea. Everybody Antifa in your administration tells you the truth is a, is a bad idea. Can I tell you what? You have no Antifa, ideas. That are Antifa is a dangerous, radical group. All right, gentlemen, group. we're now moving on to the Trump and, and Biden records. Them. They'll overthrow you. When a president, seconds. I'm going to ask a question. And you know what? It's really, really sad to see the people who get lied to every day. And even some conservative heads are thinking, wow, Donald Trump didn't do it. He never actually said anything about that. Yeah, we saw the thing with Black Lives Antifa. Yeah, we saw that, but we didn't see the Donald Trump condemning them at all. What the fuck were you watching? Seriously, what the fuck were you watching? But let's go and watch again with the subtitles. And maybe you dumb fuckers who don't understand how words work or dialogue works from people who clearly tell you what the fuck it is. Let's go and put the subtitles on for you. Eh? Let's go and do that. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, but do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what are you what are you, you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them what do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn white proud supremacists boys. and right proud proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem, this own is a left-wing. So, would you like to look at that again, or do you just maybe roll back the clip 15 seconds, because you know you can do that on YouTube, right? And, oh, any video, actually. So... When in that did you see the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan becoming Donald Trump? When? When did you see that? I definitely saw the word sure. You know what? Actually, I'll put a picture up here so it says sure I will. But then what Donald Trump does end up saying is sure. Okay, go and give me a name. And then Biden says the Proud Boys? But then Trump is lying saying... Who are the ones destroying the cities? It's not the bloody KKK, is it? It's not the the Proud Boys. I mean, yeah, I know what the Proud Boys are. I looked at them up and they're nothing worse compared to what Black Lives Matter and Antifa have done since the death of George Floyd the criminal and the pointing a gun at a pregnant woman's belly. I've never seen such hypocrisy and double standards from media. It's like he never condemned it. And I also feel really sorry for the conservative heads 
who buy this? He he did amazingly in answering that question because honestly, who the fuck is actually looking at Donald Trump and saying, oh, he didn't condemn it? Just read what the man says. But let me guess. It's not good enough to get one guy talking about it. Let me guess, it's not good enough for him to say it, right? It's not good enough for him to say it. But let's go and try and drag 20 years of fucking content back, right? Where he doesn't condemn any of the David Duke. I don't even know who the guy is, but I think I've, I've actually looked him up now and fucking hell, no wonder he's a white supremacist or whatever the hell he's called. But let's go and look back through the years of Donald Trump not condemning David Duke and actually, you know, saying all these Antifa groups, I don't know, saying all these white supremacist groups are actually bad, you know? Let's go and look back at that. And this video is combined with, by David Harris Jr. So thank you to him. Subscribe to his channel, David Harris Jr. Dot com or whatever hell it is, I think that's what it is. But type that in your YouTube, you'll find it. It's an amazing channel. Let's go and watch the combination. For 20 years, eh? Let's go and watch it. David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. Yeah, David Duke and all were disavowed. I disavowed him on Friday. I disavowed him right after that because I thought if there was any question. I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow, okay? I disavowed David Duke, and I disavowed him the day before at a major news conference. Uh, David Duke is a bad person who I disavowed on numerous occasions over the years. I'm saying to myself, how many times do I have to can you continue to disavow people? So are you prepared right now to make a clear and unequivocal statement renouncing the support of all white supremacists? Of course I am. Of course I am. I mean, there's nobody that's done so much for equality as I have. Racism is evil. And those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists. I disavowed David Duke all weekend long on Facebook, on Twitter, and really? obviously it's never enough. I disavowed him every time I speak to somebody virtually, and you know, they just keep it going, they keep it going, and... I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. I've been doing it now for two weeks. This is, you're probably about the 18th person that's asked me the question. We are a nation founded on the truth that all of us are created equal. We are equal in the eyes of our Creator. We are equal under the law, and we are equal under our Constitution. How many times do I have to reject? I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. And I disavowed then, I disavowed today on ABC with George Stephanopoulos, I disavowed again. I mean, how many times are you supposed to disavow? But I disavow, and hopefully it's the final time I have to do it. So, are you seriously going to keep going around and telling people Donald Trump is racist, he supports white supremacists and neo-Nazis? How many times do we have to explain this to you? The Charlottesville incident was actually recorded and actually on TV saying he would not condemn the, the neo-Nazis when he said there was fine people on both sides. Like that was the last video you saw there, there was fine people on both sides because that's true. Because the, there can be five good people, but the sixth person could be the neo-Nazi. I'm not joking. It's the same with Black Lives Matter. I bet there are some people in those groups that actually look for supporting, you know, black lives. But the thing is, the Black Lives Matter movement doesn't support that agenda. It does, it's a Marxist agenda the entire organization is under. A lot of black people have came up and said that as well. And I mean, I'm not being that as racist, but it's true. I've seen lots of black people come up and say, shit, this is actually not a good organization to be with. But we can talk about that another day. But go and share this with your friends, okay? Share this with your friends that say, hey, Donald Trump is a Nazi, he's a neo-fascist, he's a governor of racist institutes of America or the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Go, go and watch this video, right? Go and let me, make them sure and they watch this video. Because we're all trying to tell you this that was proven years ago. And Chris Warner, 
you should be ashamed. I mean, he's been fact-checked already and shamed by his own media, but he asked that stupid question in Charlottesville as well. Fucking hell. I mean, honestly, I'm so sick and tired of this shit. So is everyone else. Okay? See you in the next one. Racism is evil. And those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end. So I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So thank you guys for watching this video right to the end. And if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel. We are planning to make sure the left knows us. Make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat. Like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on... YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler, and Patreon. We're also on BitChute, and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the BitChute so we can get more content on there for the special members on those pages, and you get to see more events about what I'm doing. It's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things. So make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing, and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one. And remember, hail the Empire!